these really cool bracelets using the Pixaloon by Fashion Angels. To start, I'm going to be showing you everything that is in the Pixaloon kit and everything you will need to make the bracelets. So first, there are three different kinds of cords. These are just a few of them and they all come in different colors. Then there's the Pixaloon itself, three different kinds of combs, the wings, these really cool templates that you can use to make your bracelets, the Pixaloon tray, a thimble, some cute little tweezers, and a needle. Then what you need from your own house is glue, a ruler, and some scissors. All right, now today I will be making the zigzag pattern using four cords. Since this is using four of the cords, I will be taking my thread or my string and a ruler, and I will be measuring out 18 inch strips. And for this pattern, like I said, we will need four. All right, now that I have it measured out, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the thread. And I already have three pre-made. Now that we have our strings measured and cut out, I will be removing the wings from the loom. and placing the strings onto the loom. Now that we have all of our strings placed onto the loom, place the wings back onto the loom to secure it. Now we will be taking our bead tray and our template and sliding it into the loom. Now that we have our template placed and everything, using your tweezers, I'm going to be placing the beads color coding matching to the template. That sounded a little complicated, but all you do is just place the colors matching the template. And of course, you don't have to use the same colors as a template, but I am just because it's easier for me. You can use your favorite colors, any colors you want. You can even use the rainbow, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to be placing them onto the bead tray. Now that we have our beads properly placed, you want to place the beads on the top side of the cords. Then you want to thread your needle through the beads on the underside of the cords. Then you just want to pull through and tighten. All right, now we are going to thread the next row of beads. This time you will not actually have to tie a knot on each bead. All right, now we have the whole row right here. I'm just going to slide it down and place it right onto the loom. Now you want to thread it, the, thread it through the beads on the underside of the cord again. Get to, if you happen to start running short on thread, all you have to do is thread through the top row. Then tie a knot.
Then cut it and just start a new anchor row. Again. Now I have reached my last row on the loom. I am going to be threading the beads just like I normally would. And I'm going to place it onto the loom. Now I'm also going to be threading the beads through the underside of the cords just like what we normally would. And then you want to pull tight. Now, what we want to do is thread through this top side of the cords. And then you want to tie a knot. Now you want to tie a knot at the end. Now we are beginning to finish our bracelet. I just trimmed the tails or the ends of the thread so it wouldn't be all flying around. And now what we get to do is remove the ends, remove the wings, and braid the bracelet. Now I am finished with my bracelet. I have braided and knotted on both sides. And now we can make the closure. I place, I'm going to place the bracelet down like this and I want to overlap the braids. Now I just found a spare part of cord that I measured out and cut. So I'm going to tie a knot onto the braid. Now taking your glue, you want to put a dab of glue on the end. Now wait for the glue to dry. Now that the glue has dried, just trim off the ends.
and this is how you make the closure. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have as much fun making bracelets as I did. Here are a few of the other ones that I made. This one is feeling crabby. <laughs> this one is some 3D glasses. This one I actually made with the medium cord. This one has like a rainbow sort of chevron. And the last one is my favorite. And these are just a few I made. And thank you guys so much. Bye.